That is a pool in the basement of a $20 million townhouse in the heart of Chelsea. And I am Ryan Serhant. And we're gonna take you on a tour of this seven story townhouse. Let's do it. So I met up with my friend Ryan, who is a real estate agent. Most people know me from a show called Million Dollar Listing New York. Well, that's an understatement. He's one of, he is the best in New York, I would say. Oh, uh, see, that's why we're friends. Today you're showing me an apartment. Kind of, I mean, I, I know where you live. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted you to just see something else that's like your place, that I'm actually about to put on the market for sale that's right down here on the block. Yeah, I mean, because you live in, like how many floors do you have? Yeah, New York is super inexpensive for most people. Yeah, I mean, my place, it's, it's around 2,500 a month. Oh. Oh, like for rent? Yeah, for oh, rent. You rent? Yeah, I don't I don't Oh, own that's the place. awesome. Good yeah. for you, man. That's great. Yeah. I haven't met a renter in a long time. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Well, just Ryan, kidding. he mainly works in sales, so yes. renting is very foreign. Okay, so this is the spot right here. So we'll go inside and I'll show you around and I'm pretty Wait, sure it's just what, like yours. What floor is it? Oh, no, this is the whole house. It's a townhouse. I'm selling the whole thing. There's seven floors. It's like 8,300 square feet. It's just like yours. Let's go. Wait, Ryan, how, how much is this place? Uh, it, we're going to put it on the market for 20 million. By now, most of you have seen the tour of my tiny 300 square foot studio apartment. And just a few buildings over on the exact same block as mine is our $20 million townhouse that we're about to get a tour of. You wipe our shoes. The floors cost a million dollars. The house is 26 feet wide. 25 feet wide in New York City is a legal mansion. They put the kitchen on the first floor and this is ground up new construction. So a developer bought this lot and then completely redid it. Most townhouses, they put the kitchen downstairs and that's called an English basement. Here, the kitchen is on the first floor, which is very kind of like Brooklyn. And you can see the back of the house goes straight up and every floor then for the most part has cool outdoor space, right? Most townhouses are red brick, beautiful ivy, which is really cool. But I like that this house is brand new and then you get to look at everyone else's beautiful ivy. Just check this out. This is how you know you have a big house. Look at all of those stairs. Oh, I forgot to tell you, there is an elevator in the house. It's right there. Yeah, you have your own private elevator. Well, I mean, to go up seven flights of stairs every day is a lot. And then this is the living and dining floor. Welcome to the living room. It's actually really, really cool. And what's nice about it being new construction is that you have really high ceilings. So most townhouses have like nine or 10 foot ceilings. And here you have just over 11. So you've got volume. Prices of real estate that have that extra ceiling height are then higher arbitrarily. So if this were lower ceilings, it wouldn't be 20. Right? But because you have really high ceilings, kind of push it up just a little bit, 20 million. So we've got mirrors along the back wall and we do that in a lot of houses because it elongates the space. Even though it's a mirror and you're looking at yourself, when you walk in, the view doubles as you're walking through, and so it just feels extra wide, and so that's a little staging trick. Well, you know what, Ryan? I actually do that myself in my apartment. I recently got a mirror. What's up? Yeah, really? Just one, though. Oh, Probably nice. like that big. Yeah, we have, we have six. But I actually love the dining room the most, I think, on terms of like this floor. It's just super modern, really, really pretty. You get a huge dinner party here, and you're looking out over the street, which, you know, now the trees aren't in bloom yet, but when this is in bloom, I know it's hard to believe, but this is that very, like, green. You have a green view. view. Yeah, you have a green view. No one's looking into you, even though you're on 18th and 8th Avenue. Well, the thing is, I travel all the time, so I don't really need a massive seven-story right. mansion. Literally... Until you can afford it, and then it's like, I kind of need seven floors that I'm never going to use. So this is the master bedroom suite. You have your own little balcony right off the bedroom. You have a nice mantle, fireplace. I like these like really furry, fluffy chairs. They're actually not that bad. And then they like sink in slowly. Ryan, what is down here? What is what is this hallway? Into... This whole floor, the whole floor of this house, on this floor, the whole yeah. third floor is the master suite. So it's not just that that's the bedroom. The whole floor is for the master. We're walking right now into the dressing room closet area. So you get a nice big window closet. And then the bathroom is Bananas. Like, this is how you know this house is expensive. So these are hideaway hinges here. When you go back to your apartment, look at the hinges on your doors. They will be different. This is the master bathroom. Most master bathrooms have tiny little bathtubs just so that they can call it a five fixture bath. Right, so one, two, three, two sinks, four, five. Five fixture bath is super important in New York City. And you're like seven feet tall. tall dudes. And this is a big tub. Look how big this tub is. I mean, you can actually fit. You know what else would be weird? If like we were actually here and you were taking a real bath and I was and you're just right walking. Here. Yeah, and you're just like, what's up bro, pass the bubbles. How much would this bathroom run us? How much does this cost? 
somewhere between three and three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. This is three foot by three foot dolomite slab tile. So this is very, very expensive floor tiling. And then this is a Victoria and Albert deep soaking tub with headrest. Even just the cost to run the plumbing underneath the floor to run it up here so that you can use it like off to the corner is really, really, really expensive. If you're spending $20 million on a townhouse, you want the house to feel like it cost purple. So we keep going up. Oh, we should also take the elevator when we go down. Yeah, we should. There's an elevator. So then this is the first kid's floor. So you have four other bedrooms on top of the master suite. And every kid's room has their own ensuite, floor to ceiling, marble and tile bathroom, and dressing room. Kids need this. Yeah. It's very important in the you development here, of a child. Get yeah. ready. And then on the other side, identical bedroom, identical bathroom, identical dressing room, just the flip. And then we have the same thing upstairs, it's a little bit different. Most people don't even own a single floor in New York. This townhouse, there's a floor that's just kind of empty. You know, yeah. this could be a- An extra, it's a bonus. The bonus room. The bonus room, bonus floor, extra. Here's another empty room, same thing on the other side. But check out this. Look at these views of Chelsea and Blue Sky, New York. You get to the very top of the, I was gonna say apartment, but the townhouse. This is the master office on the sixth floor. Mike, is this the sixth floor? I don't even, I can't lost count. Honestly, there's so many floors in this place you lose count, but I'm sitting at the desk in the office. And then you walk out and you have this patio space. You have the beautiful blue skies today in New York City. It's like the first nice day of the spring. And then one more floor up at the very top of the townhouse is the roof deck. You've got your own full roof deck here, which is pretty nice for a townhouse. And then you've got huge views. This looks all the way down towards the Hudson River, to the water, Hudson Yards coming all the way up. That's the big view back there. That's the Maritime and Dream Hotel over there, so you can see people partying at night. Want to take the elevator? Yeah, let's do it. I mean, you have your own elevator, but it is a little tight. Welcome to your own private pool. You know, there's empty space in the basement. Why not put a pool down there and a wine cellar? I mean, it makes sense the laundry room is down here. Ryan just went upstairs to take a phone call really quick. Before he gets back, I have just a tiny, tiny favor to ask. Ryan recently started his YouTube channel. Uh, and now I have a YouTube channel. I've never had a YouTube channel. I have like four followers. I just went like this. I have like two <laughs> followers. How do you, am I supposed to like hold this camera like this? Am I vlogging right now? That is, that is, what? That's the vlog. That's, am I vlogging? It's gonna be linked right here. Go subscribe to him, show him some love, show him what the YouTube community is all about. If you want to see more luxury apartment tour collabs on my channel with Ryan, comment more Ryan down below. And with that, I will see you in the next video. So until then, as always, remember to smile more, worry less, and live your fashion, baby. Woo! Peace out from the $20 million townhouse.